Guys, it's time for me to go. My home planet needs me. Say it ain't so, Cap. Thank you for all that you've done for us. We didn't deserve you. We'll always remember you, Captain. Hello, beta testers. Marvel's Avengers skins, drops, rewards, champion system, and air quotes, event, are bugged. Devs again say that they're aware and they'll get back to you. You know, the thing that they say every week, like soon. The joke word that to them can mean eight months if they want it to. An edited video of the bugs that the devs say they're aware of from the last developer stream would be three minutes long, so I'll spare you. But months ago, I said Crystal Dynamics classified what they believe was XP being awarded too quickly as, quote, confusing and overwhelming, end quote. The link to that blog update is in the description. But now, suddenly, they have XP boosters. And if there's one thing you can count on, just like YouTubers using Black Panther and Spider-Man to clickbait, it's that development resources would not have been wasted on XP nerfs and preparing boosters to not inevitably sell them. Don't believe me? Just watch. People like me have been wondering where the emote wheel has been for nine months, and they couldn't drop that before this, but this was apparently more important. They must believe that its implementation will be more lucrative long term than a wheel to push their $10 slow clap emotes on people. But unfortunately, Crystal, this game doesn't exist in a vacuum. And when free games offer more faithful Marvel representation and cheaper emotes with more features and social aspects and interactivity, a dated wave or a thumbs up emote really is not going to cut it, especially for the prices that you're asking these good people in the tumbleweed rolling across a desert that you call a player base. The champion system page says that it grants you a stacking 3% boost, but that is a lie. Crystal thought you were too stupid to test, but guess what, life service developers? In a game with no endgame and, air quotes, events that are five rooms? And even they don't work? Nine months into your game's life cycle? What do loyal players have to do but test? Well, other than lose all of their progress in this buggy game after spending hours maxing out characters and hopelessly grinding for RNG loot when the game's still currently dropping trash, you don't have a crafting or recalibration type system in game, my heart just breaks for Spider-Man and every other player who has bought something so buggy and I have zero faith that you'll restore these people's progress because you don't care enough to listen or grant players struggling with this since launch anything but more testing since you apparently couldn't do that yourself because as i've made apparent since launch we are all beta testers so for a developer to then say that it's working as intended it's a visual bug things aren't being properly communicated here's the reality this wasn't and isn't properly being tested. You, Crystal Dynamics, fail to properly communicate. And because I'm a visual kind of guy, here's a Spider-Man game from 2002. Here's some testing in Unity. The harm room with a red lens on the camera is no more complicated than this. This 19-year-old training course is old enough to drink. And this PlayStation 2 level is what you consider an event in your game. And even that doesn't work. Crystal, what is this? Can you see me after class? This is your 2021 live service that you charge $60 for, still broke, charging $14 for skins but can't even get that to work? And you're so greedy and deceptive that you refuse to openly address your bugs on your main channel to trick new players into purchasing it. And if that wasn't bad enough, you're hiding mentions and banning bug reports and people talking about accessibility on your official Discord and on Crystal Dynamics' verified Twitch page? What's the excuse this time? Accident? Everything's an accident, right? So to reiterate what I said in my last video, your 19-year-old discount danger room is red, and as my footage shows, you can't even load past wave one, something happening to a lot of people, 
gray loot drops for max level players, 127 and 129 gear that's dropping that cannot be boosted to max level because of you putting this 10 level cap on the gear, just like the resource cap, just like the faction level cap, the champion system cap, you're all about caps, but the right kind of captain? You can't even nail, homie. We still looking for that MCU skin. I hope you feel like showing it off soon. Woo! Claps for skins. The best skin that you ever released in your game is compromised in a way that makes everyone, myself included, feel sorry for you. You couldn't get Iron Man right? I would feel worse if I felt like this could have happened with any skin, but I feel like it would never have happened with Miss Marvel. No, 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 not her. Th this one, the bad one, yeah awesome. When apologists unironically say, it's an event if they say it's an event, you understand why these illiterates believe what they believe, right? Why they think the bugs are fixed, right? Because if you don't bring it up and you ban people for mentioning it, then everything must be fine, right? Go buy everything, consume. But imagine banning your own beta testers and people seeking accessibility options, thinking it'll just poof, go away. A lazy room developers used to test characters in painted red that you repurposed and called content. Solo only, of course. Only five levels, of course. A fully red-ass room that must be wonderful for colorblind people when devs over two months ago said, and do I quote, I know accessibility is an important topic for you and for us, and I haven't replied to other threads because I have been asking questions internally. I will do my best to give you guys an update on what's coming and what the state of accessibility is at the moment. That was two months ago, when five months prior you said we were looking into it, but users asking you about it directly catch your ass in 4K, cutting off people's comments that you're halfway reading, and then deleting the Twitch comments? Getting exposed and still doing it? Bro, for you to seek backpats for diversity and inclusion, yet try to silence people bringing things like this to your attention, it's fucking pathetic. I'm black, Dia's Mexican, is that not ethnic enough for you? Oh, should we not be listened to? Are we not included? Are we excluded? I guess communication is hard when you know any truth would further compromise sales. Good faith? No, no, no. A couple of cents and dollars? Yes, yes, yes. Scream bigot. Scream blank phobe. Call people haters. Say it's misinformation. Until you're blue in the face, the fact still remains. You cannot combat the truth head on. So you take these tried and true adorable tactics out of your bag in this last ditch effort to combat us holding up a mirror to you because it's enough to end this argument. You should feel sorry for yourselves, not just the devs or defenders or hall monitors role playing and sipping Kool-Aid so hard that they refuse to see a single flaw, but the people above them making these grim reaper caliber decisions. Here's a bit of intelligence. When Avengers tries to charge for boosters in the future that they somehow expect to sell when paradoxically the champion system is capped and offers a measly 15 points for 31 champion levels which you say is working as intended, the best word to describe this is stupid. I won't waste my breath exploring the ineptitude at play here, but profit and working as intended don't go together in this scenario, buddy. You've crafted an unappealing, unrewarding, and therefore irrelevant system, but beta testers, if you have any feelings on that in this nine month buggy game, this game's content creators will take issue with you and reduce your specific and justified disgust over being deceived to quote, getting upset over numbers. Do me a favor, Tiggity Bing, and shut the fuck up. We get it. You don't respect yourself enough to put a bar at bare minimum and are jealous of people more passionate than you are. But any talented person will tell you that passion is what manifests exceptional and high quality performance and content. You think you get diamonds with no pressure? This must be confusing if all caps YouTube videos about skins is the extent of your life experience. But if I may present the Defender and Apologist Bible's commandments, it's just a beta, it's gonna get patched, all games launch buggy, there's a koof-demic. Don't like it, don't play it. It's just a video game, it's just hair. It is what it is. And lately, it's just a number. 
to you, bub. And if people want to tolerate you talking over B-roll of unedited game trailers, and they're free to do that. But remember the next time you have commentary on someone more passionate than you, that not everybody takes kindly to people not taking kindly to folks around here. I don't hate people or their opinions. In fact, I have no opinion on them at all, but they can't stop diving in front of the bullet that they've categorized my criticism as to save these poor developers because they the only ones who got it rough, huh? Damn. I had no idea. I don't get bugs. It doesn't affect me. I don't feel this way, so why do you? Bruh. Fake hype aside, this is a product. For purchase? It's not a free one, so we're free to critique it, and whatever passion that comes with that should be acceptable. You're not forced to consume it, especially when we're lied to and silenced after providing proof. I do my best, but I could be better at documenting this. You know why I'm bad? Because I care about the people who don't understand why their game won't just work. If this were a cop show, the police chief would say, you're off the case, you're too close to this. And I'd say, chief, I play by my own rules, but damn it, I get results. You know in those movies they've been trying to ignore up until this point when T'Chaka says to T'Challa, you're a good man. And it's hard for a good man to be king. I try my best but I am not a good man. To say so would cheapen the term, just like implying Avengers is fine, disrespects truly great gaming experiences. Beta testers, I'm sorry that you guys are still dealing with enemies under the map. I am sorry that you guys are going through the map. I'm sorry you're punching enemies through walls. I'm sorry that skins that you paid for have bugs nine months later. I'm sorry that you're getting 127s and 129s and grays when you can't even max these things out. I'm sorry that this game's so stingy about loot that exotics still don't drop everywhere. Even though they're planning to overhaul gear and planning a level cap increase, what's it gonna hurt to give somebody a sparkly little toy when they're going to invalidate this toy in the future? I'm sorry that you sit through these dev streams where the developers say one thing and then it turns out to be another. And that deception is deliberate. I'm sorry you're literate and can recognize what it says is not what you get. I'm sorry when you recognize these bugs you're told that it's working as intended. I'm sorry for those of you who needed accessibility options that was strung along much like most of us are still being strung along, having them pretend it's really important because they want inclusion and backpats and they never follow through. I'm sorry that you can't even play the event because enemies won't spawn. I'm right there with you. I'm sorry that your trophies are bugged or you aren't getting rewards or your game won't even start. Matter of fact, I'm sorry if you play on PC full stop. I'm sorry these devs ignore you and won't allow you the same hero choice when there's no fucking content. I'm sorry devs ignore you while saying that they're listening to you, yet they bring him back to solo Mega Hive when the entire player base is crystal clear. You got corny ass nobodies out here talking about Kyle like I give a shit about Cloud putting words in my mouth when I never said anything about hair length, but obviously it was a big deal to some people and it took eight months for those people to finally be heard. I'm sorry on their behalf because they refuse to be accountable enough to apologize for this horse shit. They're too busy selling. They're too busy saying soon and eight months after they said soon, them things still aren't here. When it comes to Marvel's Avengers, your expectations could be six feet under and with every patch the game will keep digging. Drops worked before. Priority missions gave you exotics before. Picking the same hero was something you could do before. The game is now going backwards and offering you less than it did in previous patches. If this were another fucking game and they were actually fucking real with people, they'd have reverted this shit in a heartbeat. To the people liking, commenting, speaking up on their own channels and platforms, fighting against the obvious favoritism from this developer, type men making contradictory statements as it pertains to the state of the game, thank you for exposing this for what it is. We are aware. But they gon' Pikachu face when they realize that they won't be able to pay people to jump back into this game. In a recent Future Revolution video I made, I highlighted where the bar is these days. Whether people hate or love Fortnite and Genshin Impact, it's inescapable 
that they making fucking money, they don't charge for access, events in these games are meaty, they bring modes, changes, new looks and styles, and these games are smart enough to grant every player the ability to earn currency for free, however minuscule. The reward matters. This game had and still has the blueprint and it ignores it. It has the assets to do better and it ignores them. Beta testers, please comment your exact feelings on this game, its state, its future. I wanna hear what you think, how you feel. I read it all. What this game cares most about right now is selling skins and it can't even do that right, bro. Holy shit. But deleting and threatening bans, avoiding comments on accessibility and deceiving about the state of the game so thoroughly that people are getting attacked by people who genuinely believe that the game is fixed? That's on you, Crystal. Straight the fuck up. I love you, beta testers. Last stream you saw me just stop playing this horse shit. It's getting hard sometimes to document this shit. But you're more than worth it, and I'll do this for a single person. Whether you have my issues or you're experiencing something that I'm not, I'm there. And that's the difference between me and some of these people. It doesn't affect me is not something that you're going to hear out of me. So I want fun for you. And if whoever tries to deplatform me for it, please remember that. But any intelligence would have made it apparent. Fixed game, more players, more players, more money, more money, better content, better content, longer lasting live service. We all knew this without really needing to think about it. But some people are only just now realizing that hype and removing anything that they perceive as negative won't fix the game, nor will it restore the faith in players that these decisions have ignorantly immolated. Great job, Echo Chambers. 28 stab wounds. You didn't want to leave them a chance.